This is Robert Forsch with the YouTube channel Truth and what I wanted to illustrate once again is the beauty and majesty of creation and the water being a natural level and indicating how, uh, how flat that actually is when the water is calm and very reflective like this. Okay. One of the rare occurrences that I want to illustrate is that border, the white border on the building, also showing up in the reflection. Normally it would be uh, too many ripples for that. We can see the, the symmetry of the, uh, all the reflections of, of the buildings there. The tide is coming in right now, and uh, there's virtually no wind. That I can't, I can't feel any wind movement at all. And I want to show you the numbers for the Tides Near Me app to show that. This is considered Cherry Grove inside. And this will give you an idea of what kind of activity through the, the day here. And also, I'll, uh, I'll bring up the uh, weather app for Cherry Grove right now to show you. It establishes location, and the, um, the ocean is right on the other side of those buildings. Right now it says... Um, one mile an hour of wind out of the north, yet I, I can't feel that at all. We can actually see the, the tide gently moving in. The uh, waves are breaking on the other side of that building right there. And the Cherry Grove Pier is on the other side of the Prince Resort. Right here, I'll zoom in so you can see that. And of course, the uh, wind turbine not moving at all, of course. What I want to do, too, is illustrate the, the power of um, uh, making this logo visible. Uh, YouTube Truth, so people can uh, go to my channel if they care to. If you hashtag uh, YouTube Truth, you should uh, be able to find my, my channel. Illustrating with the, the simplicity of uh, a water jug and the uh, crystal bell, neither of them moving. Let me um, zoom out a little bit and take my hands off of the camera should be able to see that. And I'll, uh, I'll ring the bell in a little bit. One of my friends said, uh, what are the changes that indicate that I'm born, born again? That I'm actually, he said, what change? Well, the power of the Holy Spirit is so obvious in a new nature. There's so much. I talk about it at, at length on my content. Set free from a life of addiction, uh, giving a heart of flesh, replace the heart of stone. The biblical reality of who I am and how I live, and uh, that's all priceless. <laughs> totally priceless. My, my con on my content, I e elaborate on it uh, exhaustively. <clears throat> For anybody who cares to explore that. Uh, the sun is obviously uh, high in the sky, yet hard to see much of it. Uh, earlier today, uh, didn't see it at all, even though it was apparently supposed to be visible. Um, however, cloud cover uh, restricted the visibility of that. That's just how it works. That's one of the reasons why we don't 
uh, see uh, daylight over the entire Earth when uh, when the sun is above the horizon, it's perpetually above the horizon. And what matters is uh, your location to it, your proximity. Uh, Job 38, I believe it is, 37 or 38, says that the sun is in the midst of the clouds, meaning that it's very close, obviously, for that to happen. Uh, definitely not a million and a half Earth sizes and 93 million miles away. That's absurd. It's not what we notice at all. We notice the uh, sun, moon, stars moving above the face of the stationary Earth. That's a uh, osprey right there got a photo of an osprey, actually a video grabbing, or a photo, uh, grabbing the, uh, a fish out of the, out of the water here. Right out at the end of the, uh, uh, walkout. Yeah, we don't have, uh, toilet water flying out on people in Australia because of gravity. Well, hello, it's just water seeking its level. That's what it does. So in the view, let's uh, zoom in on that, break it down a bit. Pretty obvious. What are the clues to the world that we live in? Well, it's not moving. That's the, that's the point of that. That's why it ma The reason why it matters is the self-appointed uh, authorities are lying. The supposed experts are promoting a, hang a false reality for humanity to make uh, their uh, eternal perspective, their decisions for eternity based on a lie. We're uh, created by the God who authored scripture. So what I want to illustrate in this, I'll... Uh, I'll try and zoom it in such a way that I can comment on it. Okay, notice to the left of the screen the uh, perfect symmetry of the reflection of the building and the airspace there. And if I uh, swing that over a little bit, we'll do it on the other side as well. It's not almost perfect, it, it actually is. There's the fragrance of uh, firewood burning right now. It's that time of year. It's uh, January right now. January the uh, 20, let's see, what date is it? The 27th. Just show you that, January 27th. I've got other beautiful video with uh, perfect reflections and symmetry. Let's, uh, let's step out, show you a little bit more. Where the sun and the moon appear and vanish, on the horizon varies considerably through the season and the duration of visibility between the sun and the moon can't be exp explained by what we actually observe. It can't be explained by the heliocentric model, the spinning, wobbling, and of course the gyrating globe. None of that movement has ever been proven and it can't be because the earth doesn't move. That's what the biblical proclamation is. And that is also the reality that we observe or I observe. You may see something completely different. Um, if, if you believe we're living on a globe, I, I know you're deceived. That's all. There's no nice way of putting that. It's just what it is. 
So now that I'm out at this location, we'll see more of the top of the building and less of the uh, white border, but it's still there. Tighten that up a bit. Any irregularity would be simply the shape of the building. The reflections are are perfect. See that? So what I want to do is uh, tighten that up a little bit on the uh, on this building right here. Any variation would be uh, because of uh, a deformity in the building. Um, if if it's not perfectly straight, it still is. Uh, as best I can tell, vertical. Now, if it did tip a little bit, that could be a problem, uh, invisible. However, that's not that's not what I notice here. Do you? The symmetry is obvious. Now, I, I don't see it as obvious now. There was uh, like uh, campfire smoke coming out of the woods right there. But if I line up the top and bottom reflection pretty close, that's what we'll, we'll just see the perfect symmetry of that. So photographic evidence of the beauty of creation is a valuable tool to indicate the reality of the world that we live in. So I'm simply one of the individuals exposing that reality. And, and also letting you know where you can see it, like right there. And then we can see the telephone pole is tipped.
in the um, in the summer months I've got video proof evidence of the uh, sun coming up right over there and then when that happens it runs a path over that way and sets way over there now today from this vantage point the sun came up over there and then it will run through the the sky like this from this vantage point it'll set right around there there's the uh, the cell tower uh, modification we're getting uh, wired up with new um, new equipment on top of the water tower oh, looks like we've got guys working there right now huh Oh yeah. <clears throat> so those clouds there are uh, right there. I can't uh, put them in perspective in the same shot unless I were to turn it like that. We've got uh, quite a few comorants over there on the uh, raised sand. And other birds, seagulls and that. So earlier today I was out at the Cherry Grove Point and that was on the other side of the uh, water tower there. You could see that if you care to. And the, the moon I believe is now a 60% 60, 60 moon and uh, with the the amount of gray sky that we have, there's no way I would be able to see that in this. But uh, let's see what we can see of the sun here. I've got uh, rather extended videos of this area showing the tidal activity and the, the movement of the sun and the moon. You can see that if you care to. And also merged with the uh, audio Bible. Yeah, we can see those clouds there now. And uh, there's a, a symmetry that hopefully you can see. And that's basically how that works. I believe it it matters because the uh, the truth matters. That's the.
short version of that. What it essentially means is that the self-appointed experts are lying. Who are they? Well, of course we've got the space program. The primary space they're focusing on is the space between your ears, your, your brain, your perception, what you believe. But then it's more than that. It's also the um, providing a, a false reality, saying that we, um, that we came from monkeys, that we live on a globe, and we landed on the moon, when none of that actually happened. The truth, <laughs> let's see if I can put that in the shot. The truth is the, the truth, uh, whether you like it or not. There's the truth, and then there's everything else. How will you recognize it when you see that? You know, it's a, a good distance away, but the, uh, the, little, the little bell and, and water is not moving. We've got to get over there and ring that bell. So, let's see. That's not the impressive uh, water. Um, this is right here, I believe. So when the when the tide is high, it'll it'll probably come up to about the third step there. It'll it'll do it very gradually, very gentle. It's just what it what it does. Day in, day out, we've got a high and low tide twice a day, and that changes throughout the um, throughout the month, throughout the week. However, uh, the the tides occur. We have um, uh, the sun and the moon moving a course above the face of the earth. Uh, do you know how much a gallon of water weighs? Well, that depends. That depends on the temperature, which actually drives the whole hydrologic cycle, the water cycle of the world, which actually provides electrical power for the world that we live in. We get the evaporation, condensation, precipitation, and uh, electrical generation through hydroelectric uh, turbines, uh, power uh, generated that way, as well as uh, steam generated turbine moving uh, with solar, natural gas, coal, and then uh, of course nuclear. All of that's a, a reality, uh, providing instantaneous worldwide communications and the habitats to house that technology and the the people who use it. Parts of the country last night in North America were well below zero, more than 20 below zero. And here it was pretty mild comparatively speaking. Uh, about 30 some degrees above zero. The other day, a couple days ago, there was a 70 degree difference in the temperature between here and Wisconsin where we used to live. And what I, what I did today is I actually uh, had cooler water in the jug and then it won't evaporate and condense as much. Just to uh, illustrate that, that's what I chose to do. So I'm going to zoom in here and hopefully you can see that there is absolutely no movement. Okay. 
And then, of course, we can see the building reflection in there, all part of the, the deal. I'm going to move this tight. And uh, let's see, what can we do with that? want to get over there without <clears throat> without bumping the car <laughs> and then so I'll, I'll illustrate a couple of things this being one of them and then uh, another simple illustration let me um, ease that down a little bit and then I'll show you water seeking its level And then uh, once it reaches the level of the of the bottom of the neck, it'll it'll stop coming out. It's just the reality of the world that we live in. It's what it actually does. That's how water seeks its level. It'll just keep on doing that. And as it moves towards the uh, towards the ocean or towards its lowest level, it'll turn turbines uh, back a long time ago, water wheels uh, to grind grain, uh, create uh, power systems to move things, all of that. Now we can use uh, artificial intelligence to distribute electricity worldwide that same artificial intelligence can interrupt the distribution of the the production and distribution